today's video i am going to solve the problem using iterative approach so we have to find the solution of each of these recurrence relations with the given initial conditions so this is the problem related to the discrete mathematics and the topic here is recurrence relations the first question is a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 a naught is equal to 3 so this is the initial conditions so using an iterative approach i am going to start this one the first problem here is a n is equal to a n minus 1 plus 2 where a naught is equal to 3 so if i put n is equal to 1 see what happens here a1 will be a naught plus 2 so a1 will be what is a naught this is 3 plus 2 so here we got 3 plus 2 so this can be written as a1 is equal to this is 3 plus 1 into 2 so please remember this one a1 is equal to so what is a1 value so 3 plus i can write it as 1 into 2 so this is equation 1 and the next one if i keep n is equal to 2 see here in this equation if i keep n is equal to 2 this will be a2 is equal to 2 minus 1 so this will be 1 plus 2 so a2 value will be what is our an this is 3 plus 2 so this is 3 plus 2 plus 2 so 2 plus 2 this one is 4 so a2 value is equal to so this can be written as 3 times of this is 2 into 2 so please remember a2 value is equal to so a2 can be written as 3 plus 2 into 2 so this is our second equation if we keep n is equal to 3 here so in this equation so in an so if we keep n is equal to 3 so this will be a3 is equal to a2 plus 2 so a3 is equal to what is a2 here so a2 value is nothing but 3 plus 4 2 plus 2 this is 4 and here it is 2 here so a3 is equal to 3 plus 6 so a3 can be written as 3 plus this is 2 into 3 see here if you observe a3 a3 is equal to 3 plus this is 2 into 3 so this is equation number 3 and next one if i keep n is equal to 4 so in which equation here so if i keep n is equal to 4 so this will be a4 will be so this will be a3 plus 2 what is our a3 value so a3 value is equal to this is 3 plus 6 so a3 is nothing but 3 plus 6 so a4 is equal to this is 3 plus 6 plus 2 and a4 value is equal to this is 3 plus 8 and here a4 can be written as 3 plus this is 2 into 4 so here a4 value is equal to this is 3 plus this is 2 into 4 so this is equation number 4 if you observe this one what is a1 so a1 is equal to see here a1 is equal to 3 plus 1 into 2 a2 is equal to 3 plus 2 into 2 a3 is equal to 3 plus 2 into 3 and a4 is equal to 3 plus see here 2 into 4 so what is a1 here so a1 is equal to 3 plus this is 1 into 2 so this value is 1 into 2 what is a2 a2 is equal to 3 plus this is 2 into 2 and a3 value is equal to see here a3 so our a3 value is equal to this is 3 plus this is 2 into 3 and a4 value is equal to so a4 value is equal to 3 plus this is 2 into 4 so similarly a n can be written as see here there is 3 a common factor here so this is 3 plus this is 1 into see here 1 into 2 2 into 2 and next one here 2 into 3 2 into 4 uh, like that see if you observe i can write this a uh, small correction that is 2 into 1 if i write 2 into 1 see here this is a 2 common factor this is 1 2 3 4 so i am writing this as 2 into 1 2 3 4 5 6 and this will be the nth term therefore a n is equal to 3 plus 2 n is a solution so this is the solution see here and the next question and the next question here will be so what is our next question so a n is equal to see here our a n value is equal to the second question here so we have to solve using an iterative approach so here the initial condition a naught is equal to 1 
so if i keep n is equal to 1 here so in the first thing here if i keep n is equal to 1 so what happens here so a1 is equal to a1 is equal to this is a0 plus 1 so what is a0 value so this is nothing but 1 plus 1 see a1 can be written as so a1 can be written as this one i'm writing it as 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2 so if i cancel this to 1 remains so and the next one if i keep n is equal to 2 here if i keep n is equal to 2 see what happens here a2 is equal to if i keep n is equal to 2 a2 is equal to this is a1 plus 2 so what is a1 here so a2 is equal to so a1 is nothing but see here 1 plus 1 so this is 1 plus 1 plus 2 so a2 is equal to 1 plus 3 and this can be written as a2 can be written as 1 plus 2 times of this is 2 plus 1 by 2 so if i cancel this to 3 remains i'm writing it like that and next if i keep if i keep n is equal to 3 this time so if i keep n is equal to 3 what happens in this equation a3 is equal to a3 is equal to this is a2 plus if i keep n is equal to 3 this will be 3 so what is a2 here a2 is nothing but 1 plus 3 so this is 1 plus 3 plus 3 so a2 can be written as 1 plus this is 6 1 plus 6 so now the 6 can be written as a3 is equal to so this can be written as 1 plus this is 3 times of this is 3 plus 1 by 2 see here how i'm writing this one <clears throat> so this is 4 4 by 2 so this is 2 3 is a 6 got it and next one if i keep n is equal to 4 and see what happens a4 is equal to this is a3 plus 4 and what is a3 here so a3 is nothing but this is 1 plus a 6 already there is 4 here so a3 is equal to 1 plus 10 and a4 can be written as see here a4 can be written as 1 plus this 10 can be written as 4 into this is 4 plus 1 by 2 see here 4 if i cancel this for two times 2 5 is a 10 and 10 plus 1 is 11 and see if you observe like this if you keep on substituting these values see for a1 see here for a1 i wrote 1 plus this is 1 into 1 plus 1 by 2 for a2 this is 1 plus 2 into this is 2 plus 1 by 2 for a3 <clears throat> the value here is 1 plus 3 times of 3 plus 1 by 2 a4 i wrote this as 4 into 4 plus 1 by 2 so if you observe this one so this is a1 this is a2 this is a3 and this value is a4 so this value is a4 so if you see the sequence here so one it is a constant see here one two three four and so on see here also one two three and so on there is one constant here and two is also a constant so similarly we can write the general term so a n value can be written as and so on a n value can be written as here there is a one one plus one two three four and so on the nth term will be n times of see here one two three four here also the nth term is n so one is constant here divided by two is the solution so is the solution for this recurrence relation so this is how we have to use this iterative approach and the next and the next question here is so this is the second solution i'm going to the third one see here according to the third question so we have we have a n is equal to so this is third one a n is equal to this is a n minus 1 plus 2 n plus 3 where a naught is given as 4 <clears throat> so if you observe this one so this is also so simple so if i keep n is equal to so here if i keep n is equal to 1 so this will be so if i put n is equal to 1 see what happens here so this will be a1 is equal to this is a0 plus 2 into 1 plus 3 so a1 value is equal to what is a0 this is 4 plus 2 plus 3 so what is the value here 
so this is 5 this value is 9 so keep it like that and next one coming to this n is equal to 2 so if i keep n is equal to 2 see what happens a2 is equal to so a2 is equal to so this will be 2 minus 1 this is 1 and if i keep n is equal to 2 here this will be 2 plus 3 so a2 is equal to what is a1 this is 9 plus 4 plus 3 so a2 value will be 16 and next if i keep n is equal to 3 here then a3 value will be see here a3 value will be um, so here this will be a2 so this is a2 if i keep n is equal to 3 then this is uh, 2 into 3 plus 3 so a3 value is equal to so a3 is nothing but 16 plus 6 plus 3 so a3 is equal to 16 plus 6 plus 3 the value here is 25 and the next one if i keep n is equal to 4 if i keep n is equal to 4 see here a4 so a4 value will be if i keep n is equal to 4 here this will be a3 plus 2 times of if i keep n is equal to 4 so this will be 2 into 4 plus 3 so what is a4 value so what is a3 value this is 25 so a4 value is equal to 25 plus 8 plus 3 so a4 value will be so if you add up all these so this is 28 plus uh, this one is 11, 36 so this value is 36 see how well right now so this is so simple to understand so this can be written as 9 can be written as 1 plus 4 plus 4 so i am writing it as 1 square plus this is 1 into 4 plus 4 see here our a1 value i wrote like this and the next one a2 value so this is 16 so here it is 1 square the next number here is 2 square plus so 1 after 2 into 4 plus 4 if you see 4 plus 4 8 8 plus 8 this value is 16 and next one coming to a3 here so this is see here this is one square so this is two square and obviously this will be three square plus see here this is one this is two and here ultimately it will be three so four it is a constant term here so plus four if you observe this is nine plus four thirteen plus twelve this is twenty five got it and next one a4 can be written see here this is one square two square three square and this value will be 4 square plus 1, 2, 3 and the next number is 4 into 4 plus 4. See here this is 16 plus 4, 20 and 16 we got 36. See and the next value the nth value will be so a n value will be so 1, 2, 3 see here 1 square, 2 square, 3 square, 4 square and nth term square is n square plus See here 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the nth term into 4 plus 4. So this value is equal to therefore we say that therefore a n is equal to this is n square plus 4 n plus 4 is a solution. So to the recurrence relation is a solution. See here this is so easy if you follow these steps and definitely you can solve by your own and the next one the fourth question here is so what is our fourth question the fourth question here is a n is equal to three times of see here our fourth question a n is equal to three times of a n minus one plus two where a naught is equal to one so if i put n is equal to one see what happens so if i keep n is equal to 1 if i put n is equal to 1 our a n value will become that is 3 into a naught plus 2 what is our a naught a naught is nothing but so this value a naught is nothing but 3 into 1 so 3 into 1 plus the here the value will be so in this question there is a little change here so there is a 1 here and so i am writing 1 so make a small correction this one this is one so here what is a naught this is 3 into 1 plus 1 so which is equal to a1 is equal to this is 4 and the next one keep n is equal to 2 so if we put n is equal to 2 then see what happens here 
so this will be a2 will be so a2 will be 3 times of this is 2 minus 1 this is a1 plus 1 so a2 is equal to this is 3 into 4 plus 1 so the value here a2 is equal to 12 plus 1 this is 13 so if i put n is equal to 3 n is equal to 3, our a3 value will be, see here, our a3 value will be 3 times of a2 plus 1. So, what is a2? a2 is nothing but 13 plus 1. So, a3 is equal to, this is 39 plus 1. So, a3 is equal to 40. And the next one here is n is equal to 4. n is equal to 4. So, therefore, a4 value is equal to 3 times of a3 plus 1. So, a4 value is equal to 3 times of 40 plus 1. So, a4 value is equal to, this is 120 plus 1. So, a4 value is equal to 121. See here, we got a1 as. So, we got a1 value, see here. So, a1, a1 is equal to 4, a2 is equal to 13, a3 is equal to 40 and a4 is equal to 121. So, this I will write as, so a1 is equal to, this is 3 square minus 1 by 2. So, 3 square, so what is 3 square? 9. So, 9 minus 1 by 2. So, this is 8 by 2, 4. So, the next one, a2 I am writing as 3 power, this is 2 plus 1. So, this is 2 plus 1 minus 1 by 2. This is 2 cube. So, this is 3 cube. This is 27 minus 1. 26 by 2. This value is 13. Got it? And the next one is a3. So, this value will be. So, 3 plus 1 minus 1 by 2. So, 3 power 4. This is 81 minus 1. This is 80 by 2. This value is 40. And this can be written as. Um, 3 power, this is 4 plus 1 minus 1 by 2. See here, through iteration method, so a1 I wrote as 3 square minus 1 by 2, a2 3, 3 power 2 plus 1 minus 1 by 2, a3 3 power 3 plus 1 minus 1 by 2 and a power 4, so 121. So here, 3 power, 3 power 5, so what is 3 power 5? 243 minus 1 by divided by 2 and this will be 121. So, here in general, so if I write the nth value that is a n can be written as 3 power. See here 1. So, here this is uh, 2 no. So, this is 2 plus 1, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1. This will be n plus 1. So, this will be n plus 1 minus 1 by 2. So, is a solution. So, E is a solution for the recurrence relation. So, this is how we have to solve and this is so simple if you follow these uh, steps and this is the most most important problem. Please try it and definitely you can solve by your own. If you really like you know what to do, please subscribe to this channel and have a look at my next video and uh, that will be very very helpful for your examination and keep in touch. Thank you so much.